Hey everybody, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and this week I went to the store to get some new printer ink, got the exact number of the printer ink that I needed, yet it still was not the right one. So I was kind of feeling a bit frustrated, and I was like, well, I could just take it back, but actually it was a fairly cheap cartridge, only like $11, and I was like, huh. And if I take it back, they'll probably just give me store credit, and i got to buy something else in the store. So I was thinking about it, and I was like, I wonder if I could crack open an ink cartridge for a home printer and draw with the ink that's inside of it. Is it going to work? I don't know. Is it a stupid idea? Absolutely. But I can't wait to figure out what's going to happen, so stick around. Okay, so today we're starting things off in the garage. And I, as soon as I took this little plastic cover off the bottom of the cartridge, I noticed something I've actually never seen before in an ink cartridge, and that's you can actually look and get the ink out of the out of the, out of it without even actually doing anything. So like well, I've never even noticed that thing with the pads. Most cartridges I, I use uh, just have a little print head on it, and it forces it through a separate little segment. Now I could probably puncture these. Um, but I run the risk of that splashing back up in my face, so I'm actually going to use the guard that it came with and uh, hopefully try and just pry this top section off. It's not. Okay, I might have to take that off just for the sake of prying the top off. Stay put. Go. All right. So inside, I've got basically four little sponges with ink in them. It's interesting. I've never seen inside one of these before like this. They're probably not all made like this, but rather fascinating indeed. Now back into here. Let's take this back into the studio and see what we can do with this. Okay, so back over in the studio, I'm going to go ahead and perform a little delicate surgery on this thing. Uh, I think this one in the corner was black or maybe like a green. So, probably should be wearing gloves for this, but... It looks like this whole thing is just soaked with that ink. And it's basically a sponge, yeah. So it's basically a little ink sponge. I'm gonna get some gloves. Okay, glove. So, this thing is basically a tiny ink sponge. It's pretty intense ink, too. It's probably gonna bleed straight through this paper. I think about that. Oh yeah, definitely bled straight through that paper. Now from that, I may or may not be able to use the dip pen. Probably not. Yeah, it's, do it's does not, not gonna really soak up into it. However, I may be able to dilute with some water and treat them like watercolors. All right. I'm going to grab a watercolor brush. Get some water in here. And then just tap the top of that to build that up. I may even be able to go the other way. Just kind of dip it down in. Yep, now I've got a washing ink. I think the real kind of test of time with this is whether or not if I leave these out, will they dry out? I think they probably will. Um, in which case, wow, that's going everywhere, isn't it? So you just take some of that. Nice, bright, vibrant color, because it's, you know, it's printer ink. It's going to do what it's going to do. And this is just regular sketch paper, so this is easily going straight through all of this to the bottom. But it is ink the way ink is ink. Um, so this is really interesting. I might have to do an entire painting with this just to... Wow, that's really getting all over my hand, isn't it? Just to kind of see if it's possible and see how far I can get, kind of push this as a medium. 
Again, I don't, whoa, man, that's really just all over the place, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if this is gonna dry out. I actually don't really wanna take that risk. Uh, although most printer ink is water soluble, so you could probably re-wet it and treat these almost like uh, little instant blocks of watercolor and soak them in water to bring them back to life. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in a Ziploc bag uh, and uh, call that one a day. <laughs> so, question's been answered. Can you crack open a printer ink cartridge and draw with the ink inside? Yeah, absolutely, you can totally do it. Uh, is it cost effective to do so? No, not really. Uh, should you go out and do it and buy your own cartridge? And No, pro probably not. But, as artists, we have to pioneer new techniques and new ideas. We have to push our ideas and push our materials into places that you may not have otherwise thought uh, to do so. And that was sort of the whole point of this experiment and exercise, was just to say, I've got an idea, let's figure out if it works. And look, it did. So, if you enjoyed this little experiment, uh, please don't try this at home, uh, but go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, consider supporting on Patreon. Follow on DeviantArt, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, be sure to check out some new art coming up always on my website, cinebloxstudios.com. Uh, subscribe for more, and this has been from Cinebloxx Studios, and I will see you guys next time. God. That's going to be on my hands for a week.